I really. Oh, All right. Nice. All right. So uh, let's go through one by one to see who's going to pick what for the draft. And number one is Andrick. This feels so epic with the Dalaran music going in the background. <laughs> <laughs> well, lucky enough, we are joined now by Jake. Jake, welcome to the program. How are you this evening? Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> oh, come on! Oh, come on! I was, I was trying to... <laughs> gotta give me credit. You gotta give me credit on that that's one. A, that's like... such a Jake answer, too. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have Seth be a reporter in the field now. <laughs> Dude, come on, give me that was funny. Come on, give me credit. Seth's gonna be like the anti Craig Sager, where everything that like you know, Seth just answers perfectly normal, innocuous sideline reporter questions and just gets met with extreme insults and abuse and just <laughs> complete hey. madness. Jesus. But hey, Zell, just to let you know, our, our, I've got two sources that are confirming what we already know as Fury oh, Warrior. Shit. However, there's a third source. That resto uh, shaman may be on the table. Oh, oh! And I heard wait, rumors about that. What? I did hear rumors about that. There's so also if, I, if you guys had to put some bank some money on it, like right now, this is Tuesday. What do you guys think the final answer would be? My gut is telling me Fury Warrior, but if you were to put a gun to my head, I'd say resto shaman. Okay, you're going resto shaman, Serene. That's a tough call. I mean. The, uh, this Resto Shaman business is, is news to me, but uh, I like it. It makes logical sense. Uh, I think the Fury Warrior is, um, is a safe pick. Uh, I think Resto Shaman might be, if there's such thing as an upset for a pick like this, I believe uh, it's, it's a viable choice. Uh, Mormont? Zell, I've been discussing with numerous sources around the league, league and executives, and they don't know. I'm hearing conflicting reports. Teams are just second guessing one another what uh, Jake might opt to do with the first overall pick. And to be quite honest, it is a mystery. I don't think anyone's going to find out until the card is handed to the commissioner. So, uh, to be quite honest, this is the most unpredictable first overall pick we've had in over a decade. And most executives around the league are uh, curious to see how it pans out. But uh, the prevailing thought, if I to take a guess was that it will be something shaman related all right well just to be controversial i'll go with fury warrior i know he's been working on some transmog um and you can't be working on tra you can't be working on transmog and not make it like a official so i'm gonna go with fury warrior on my side but i mean it's crazy only legends anonymous can make the first pick the, like tragic you know the most like <laughs> controversial one so <laughs> it's gonna be interesting to see how things pan out all right well let's keep it moving we tried um, to reach andrick for comment but they don't have phones in indiana we tried <laughs> we we tried to reach andrew for comment but we just got responded with a fuck you <laughs> pretty much yeah <laughs> all right number two i mean it's kind of certain but how do you guys think do you think there's a chance for upset with Dr. Legend? I think there was until the Rhett Paladin got released on PTR. Once Rhett Paladin got taken off the table, it's clear that Dr. Legend is sticking with Holy Priest. I don't think he wants to leave Heal Team 6. He's their commander. Yeah, no, he, he likes touching little boys too much. <laughs> <laughs> So the prevailing foot around the league is that Dr. Legend will, in fact, remain a holy priest. But if there is going to be an upset, keep your eyes out for the outlaw rogue. Once again, it is a very slight chance, probably an insignificant chance. But if there's going to be an upset, that is the spec to keep your eyes out, out for, uh, for. That's some good journalism reporter, Mormont. Thank you so much. for Journalism <laughs> reporter. Speaking, but, uh, speaking of next picks, what's up with Zelgadi's pick, man? I mean, I swear to God, like, first Vileheart is, is, is he, well, Vileheart's one of my sources, and he keeps telling me Enhancement Shaman, but unfortunately, Doomhammer is an American creation and can't go to Canada, so that might be off the table. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's going Disc Priest. Brewmaster Monk. I mean, I'm yeah. a little biased here, so it's hard to tell, say exactly what's going to go down, but... I feel like it will shock some people. What do you think, Serene? <sighs> I think, um, I don't think there are going to be any surprises here. I think uh, the Enhancement Shaman is going to be, is going to be his pick. Uh, final answer, bar none. Um, well, you're, you guys are missing that uh, there is Flex Healer on the table, and I think Zell will be the first person to snag one of those spots if Andrick doesn't. Wow, some side deals already, so that's oh, good. Shit. All right, well, 
I guess we'll have to see with this one. I mean, seeing as it's me, I can't really reveal too much until mm. Tuesday, but mm. we'll see. I'm just going to go with Windwalker Monk, just because, <laughs> just to cover that base. <laughs> All right, well, moving along. Um, I don't think anything have... can be trusted. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not after Andrick lied for seven months about coming to BlizzCon. <laughs> oh my oh. god! <laughs> Uh, it was great. That, was, that made my entire year. Like the rest of that year was just, I'm like, I'm done. I'm complete. Like I don't need anything else. That was the best. So I mean, this next one is kind of a for sure deal because it feels like, have they already grandfathered into or chosen? Uh, so the next guest is Failure, who's decided that they're going to be a tank. Is that live spoken to? Oh, go ahead. Zell, I've spoken to numerous contacts around the league, and the prevailing thought and the consensus, the consensus around the league is that if there's any slam dunk pick, this is it. I fully expect failure to remain a blood DK, or rather, go to a blood DK, and uh, I'd be absolutely stunned uh, if he opted to do something else. Yeah, I mean, one of, we have some shockers that, uh, you know, as we go down the list, and there are some ones that are kind of a sure deal, and it feels like this is one of them. Is there anything else? Are you guys hearing anything else from your sources? Well, unfortunately, our lines got cut because it's so cold in Canada. So, <laughs> yeah. so, so we're unable to confirm anything except for that blood decay was. There were so many. I mean, Acarus was booming with, um, with just action, and all it kept saying was failure, failure, failure. Uh, I don't know whether that's a DK thing or, or a failure thing, but it's clear <laughs> Blood DK is the prevalent pick to snag, and he will get that first main tank spot. All right. Well, um, so let's go down the list. The next person is one that's kind of bounced all over the place. He's been on all sides of that of the spec. He's been a shaman. He's been a warrior. He's been a hunter. He's been God only knows what. Um, so what do you think, Marcus? Where do you think he'll fall? I mean, he said DH, but do you think that's an that's uh, something to kind of like a ruse, or do you think that's the way things will go? We are now joined by Marcus himself. Marcus, welcome <laughs> to the program. How are you this evening? Uh, I've been advised by my lawyers. Uh, I am unable to comment. <laughs> I mean, Mormont, you you are one that's. That, from what I hear, will be going DH. Do you feel like Marcus will be going as well? Is I believe DH I, power I, brotherhood I, strong. I do believe that uh, Marcus will absolutely be the first uh, ever uh, Lens Anonymous Demon Hunter and be a proud member of uh, Ilden and Friends. Ooh, that's a big that's a big statement right there. The first member of Legends Anonymous to claim DH. That's, now I firmly believe that Marcus will go Demon Hunter because <laughs> for the simple reason that we cannot simply cannot, I repeat cannot, allow, allow our, damage our damage meters <laughs> to not have a Demon Hunter in the top 10. <laughs> Wait guys, bre breaking news, breaking news I'm hearing from, there are multiple reports going around on Twitter right now that there is a potential upset with this pick that Marcus Whoa. may in fact go vengeance, Demon Hunter taking that second ta main taking spot and leaving Serene to dust in the wind. I mean, this is uh, this is some uh, breaking news and uh, it's cutting edge uh, uh, current events, but uh, yeah, this is what we're hearing from multiple reports that Marcus may in fact snag that second taking spot Wow. What I am hearing from my sources, <laughs> the sources that that which are telling me that this is what's happening, Marcus will not be going Demon Hunter for the sole reason because he wants to survive the tear without incurring the wrath of Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm with my cousin Vinny over there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So this will be I one. I was kind of going for the New for. Jersey Stephen A. Smith there. <laughs> yeah. Not bad, not bad. It'll be one to look out for. Uh, some good information there, uh, reporter Mormont. Uh, that will be if that is the case, and he does go vengeance. That that will have some effect as we go down the list. So we'll keep that one in mind. Next, speaking of tanks, I mean, our former prot paladin, uh, Pope, 
Where do you guys think that he'll fall having taken some break and now coming back? Well, there is um, – it was kind of a shocker to see Wiggs come back. However, there are multiple sources confirming that he is going range DPS. He's been spending a lot of time on that Warlock, and he's feeling good about it. So it's pretty clear he's going range DPS and uh, will be feeding us a closet pretty much for the entire expansion. Ooh, but will he fall victim to the Warlock curse of the guild? That's going to be the question I think we'll need to keep in mind. If there's one person that could break that curse, it's probably going to be Wiggs. Well said, well said. And uh, next we have our uh, failed druid extraordinaire, uh, Grand Mumper or Grand Humper. <laughs> Grand, Frumpty <laughs> Grand Frumpty Hump Dumper. Grand Frumpty Hump Dumper. Any risk in him not picking like do we foresee him not picking for Eldred? i feel like at this point this is the only class spec that he can play i feel like this may be the only class and spec that we will allow him to play we've seen how <laughs> we've seen how he is on well that said. page uh we've and we we've all been traumatized by the endless amount of wipes taking a uh taking his mage into heroic hellfire citadel i think that for grand's own personal safety Feral Druid is the only pick. Gotcha. And they have yet to invent a mouse that moves and clicks any faster than a normal mouse, so yes, we're inclined to think that Feral Druid is where the Jersey boy will stay. Where's Andrasti in here, by the way? He, uh, he initiated his grandfather clause. He will remain a holy paladin. Ah. Uh, oh, well, gotcha, it takes gotcha. all the mystery and drama out of that one. <laughs> yep. Oh, speaking of mystery and drama, one who we're seeing a lot of changes in and potentially may not go, like, may pick a different class altogether, not your poly guy, who may be called not your hunter guy, uh, come Legion. So what do you guys think about that? Do you think that he will stick with the hunter or will we see him going back home to the Red Paladin? Seeing as he only raids for about 45 minutes a night, I think we have to figure out what spec he can tolerate for 45 minutes. Good point. See, this is a this is kind of a tough one because, you know, he's been he's been playing that uh that survival hunter quite a bit, but I'm hearing some grumblings that uh he may not be entirely happy with it. So, I mean, we uh we could see a return to the Ret Paladin. We could see him stick with survival hunter. We could see something completely different. For all we know, he could go play Final Fantasy. Ooh. Um, and Jake, you are close to uh, Not Your Pal Guy. Where do you think his heart lies right now? Uh, I think he's just confused. He's confused overall. He doesn't know what to play. He'll probably play Survival for a couple months and then switch to Ret. Multiple sources ha can confirm that Not Your Pal Guy has a pretzel stuck in his head. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not too sure what that has anything to do. Your sources are dumb. <laughs> I'm not sure what that has to do with anything, but maybe something to keep in mind. I don't know. I feel like the Wiggles aren't a source, Seth. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you got the reference, Jake. Well, that's the source of why your head hurts so much. There's a skull in there. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Speaking of one who will be playing with skulls and bones, potentially our next tank in the making serene um so what do you guys think do you think it's a done deal that serene will be going uh prot pal uh, prot warrior and will be the next tanking badass for la i i don't know if you guys have seen the viral video uh that was re released on twitter serene and his uh, representatives have been visiting the warrior class hall every single week having lunch getting together and it's it's very clear that this relationship has blossomed and we mm -hmm. fully expect serene to take that main tank spot sword and board prop warrior we are now joined by serene himself on the set serene welcome to the set how are you this evening go to hell and i can neither <laughs> <laughs> hey i like this guy <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny <laughs> these rumors that I am in fact going and don't take this out of context and chop it off to make it sound like I am going prop warrior because I may not, I may not. 
probably am going to, but I may not. You cabbage. You cabbage. <laughs> he said go to hell. <laughs> go to hell. <laughs> Jesus. Well, uh, at the number 10 spot is another potential controversial also uh, pick. One that has played balanced Druid, but may not be so balanced now in terms of where he falls in uh, the spec he picks. So we've seen f play Druid. We've seen him play Hunter. And now he's even working on his Shaman. So what do you guys make of this? Well, I have, my sources have been in uh, constant contact with uh, Fuqua. And, uh, you know, he's been flip-flopping a bit uh, between the Beast Mastery Hunter and the Elemental Shaman. But the prevailing thought around the league and around most scouts is that, in the end, Fuqua is leaning towards the Ellie Shaman after putting in some decent time with it in the past couple of days. So, uh, wouldn't surprise us, wouldn't surprise the league if he does opt for Beast Mastery. But uh, the uh, prevailing thought and the uh, the money right now is on him uh, joining the Wolfpack and uh, becoming an Ellie Shaman. Ow. When have these Ow. rumors been subsiding? Oh, over the last couple of days, he's been playing heavily on his uh, shaman. I know that uh, members of the wolf pack have gone out to see him and have visited him. Potentially, we saw a brand new red car uh, Ferrari. That's illegal. On his... So That's I'm, illegal. Legal. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm not sure what's going down, but all I know is that he has a brand new car and he's now working on the elemental shaman. So. That's a potential controversial pick and one that we will have to stay tuned. Uh, but Shit. number 11, Charrier, Rier, Rier, Rier. I mean, I can't even say his name, but Charmander. Where do you... <laughs> Charmander. He's been one who's been heavily for Frost Death Knight and for the Death Knight overall. He's into theory crafting. I mean, do we foresee an upset with him changing from uh, Death Knight to something else? While we do not foresee an upset among most executives around the league, uh, numerous sources have informed me that no one has been able to get in contact with Char over the past week, week and a half or so. So uh, we have no new updated information to offer our fans, but uh, nonetheless, the prevailing thought and the money, the strong money right now, is on him staying with the DPS Death Knight. Gotcha. Some say he took a hike on uh, to Northrend just to kind of gather his thoughts and decide <laughs> where he's leaning towards. So number 12, another one, another steady, um, and one that we don't foresee any changes, Shakota with the Elemental Shaman. I mean, I've heard that he's gotten some death threats from other uh, members of the Wolf Pack if he ever were to change. So do you think that those death threats are enough to keep Shakota Elemental Shaman, or what do you guys think? The fact of the matter is, I think those death threats are what keep him going. I think uh, he, he <laughs> thrives on the abuse, uh, and I think that uh, his heart will always be with the Elemental Shaman, but uh, his, his, collect his growing collection of hate mail um, is, is a very strong motivator for him to uh, continue his trolling efforts. Well, well we... Uh... We have been hearing so many rumors about Chakota and the Wolfpack offering him a five-year re-sign deal to stay with <laughs> Elemental Shaman, and we're pretty sure Chakota is going to take the deal because he needs the money because he hasn't even been able to pay his subscription fee to even test it out. So we're pretty <laughs> sure he's going to take the money and stick with the Wolfpack. Oh. Well, 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 we'll give this one more try. We are now joined on the set by the man himself, Chakota. Chakota, how are you this evening? Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Glad to be here. So, we are currently discussing <laughs> about the possibilities of uh, what you may main in Legion. The prevailing thought around the league is that you will, re in fact, remain an Elemental Shaman and take that uh, five-year resign offer that is on the table from the Wolfpack. Can you confirm or deny these reports? I will confirm yes. said reports. I will be Elemental Shaman in Legion. Oh! Oh, wow, what you heard you? it here first. first breaking news, Shakota Shakota is going to remain an elemental shaman. Take that five year contract to re sign with the Wolfpack. Thank you for the information, Shakota. We are very appreciative of it. Can we the Wolfpack? Can't self -res as any other class. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. He's not wrong. Oh, you got some breaking news out there. That's some great reporting, Finally, there, reporter uh, Mormont. Finally, someone answered. <laughs> 
He went off script. Now I'm mad. <laughs> Damn He's it. Like... Ooh, uh, and the next one is going to be a returning player, Tone Lock, uh, our, who's played Warlock in the past, and potentially we've seen him play um, Rogue in the past couple of weeks. Where do you think his head's at? Uh, definitely Rogue. Um, we have uh, been talking to representatives from the uh, Tone Lock War Room, and it's clear that he uh, did not enjoy the Warlock experience, and he's having a good time surviving fights and doing mechanics from the Rogue perspective. So we're fully expecting uh, Assassination Rogue to be on the table for Tone Lock. Now, the validity of my sources on this uh, are definitely questionable at best, given that uh, I've been in close contact with the underground rogue community, and apparently um, Tonelock has been spotted having some conversations with retired rogue Serene about possibly ooh, the best ooh. spec to play. And ooh, ooh, I, ooh, I think that, that could, be, could, wow. be, could be an indicator. Uh, I, I'm probably, um, I probably should be expecting a hit squad at my door any moment for letting this information <laughs> slip. But I am I'm willing, willing to take that risk because this is important. Uh, we, we, we need to know. The public needs to know. And uh, I, I, you know, I am, am literally giving my life to bring this information to the masses. And... Uh, He's going rogue, literally, in wow. so many different ways. <laughs> a lot of surprising information that's coming out tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Serene. Thank you for risking your life for this thing that we love and do, journalism. It's, it's a beautiful thing. BRB, witness protection. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay, well, a, a newcomer to the guild, uh, not so new at this point, but one of the latest members that have joined, um, and one that's been working on his game recently, uh, Mormont. Um, from what I understand, he's working on some permutation. I'm not too sure if he's, if it's, if some kind of a science experiment or what's happening, but I keep hearing permutations. Um, where do we think that Mormont is going? I believe that Mormont is going to uh, to take a cue from the Andrasti playbook and go with the Holy Paladin. Uh, it seems Ooh. like he has been uh, really enjoying the, the the healing experience lately, and um, uh, the Holy Paladin just seems like a logical pick. He had a lot of success <laughs> with Rat Paladin uh, in Hellfire Citadel, and uh, I believe uh, he just wants to take his game to the next level, and uh, healing is the next logical step. Also, it's opposite day. <laughs> well, why don't we why don't we go ahead and ask the uh, ask the source? Um, so, Seth, what do you what do you expect from yourself? I user in your channel was kicked from the. And that's good enough for him. <laughs> Ooh, that hurts. That user hurts. Your God damn it! <laughs> God damn it! Unfortunately, uh, Seth is under a gag order from. Uh, well, from the tomb of Sargeras, so we are unable to confirm or deny any rumors regarding him. Hmm. Lord all right, well, all I can say is that Mormont has been working um, on beta uh, long periods of hours and has, putting, has been putting a lot of time on his uh, rotations. So uh, good things to come with this guy. So keep it's one guy to keep an eye on for the upcoming expansion. Ooh. Well, I think he's been, uh, for the next guy, I th it feels like he's been more out than in. Where do we think about Grill Priest? And the big question is, will Ooh. he be... <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. So Ooh. you hear it from the fans, but what, what do you think Grill Priest is? What's going to mm. happen with him? It's kind of hard to play the game when you're banned. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're hearing rumors that uh, he is unable to leave his room because he is grounded, so he may not even make the draft. We just don't know. He he showed up once to say hello and, and hasn't been back since, so we don't even know if he knows how to get to the uh, arena to ex uh, even make a draft choice. Yeah, I think the better question might be, what class will his bot pick? <laughs> I believe Grill Priest may just turn out to be the uh, the Daryl Strawberry of Legends Anonymous. Uh, you know, so, <laughs> so, so much potential, and then just MIA. <laughs> well, definitely won uh, the Dark Knight uh, of this uh, draft, and one to keep an eye on uh, come Tuesday. Go Speaking of one to keep an eye out on, uh, we have Manifesto, the Molesto. Um, what do you guys think? 
Mage is kind of strong with him, and he's been playing it for several years now. What do you think? Where do you think uh, that he will fall? Well, he's prevented by court order from playing priest, so we can roll that one Ooh. out. Zell, I have heard from the horse's mouth himself, and I can confirm from Manifesto the Molesto himself that he will, in fact, be going fire mage oh, for Legion. Oh, oh. That's got some burn in him. Get out. <laughs> so what you're saying is the heat is on. Get out. All of you I, get out. All I can say is right now I am fired up. So channel. <laughs> no, we need to start fire people. You're just fired. <laughs> get out. <laughs> get out. Error. Well, manifesto is not alone in terms channel of mage. Move. We have Radji coming up next, who's an offline drafting. Channel and editing. from what I understand, Marcus, you fill us in. Is he sticking with the mage? I, I think you've spoken with him. Yes, unfortunately, Raji will be unable to make the draft, um, and he'll have to draft as a new member, so he's being allotted an offline draft. He is selecting Mage, and the Legends Anonymous leadership is accepting that draft pick due to it being a ranged DPS, so we can confirm Raji will be a Mage in Legion. Good. All right. Well, that's good to know. And the next pick is one that can't see the Void Stars coming, and <laughs> just like that, uh, we may not be able to determine what he's going to pick next expansion. He's been playing uh, Death Knight for a long uh, for a long time. Where do you guys see Kraz going? You know, Kraz is a. It's most likely. I mean, it's eighty twenty in favor of uh, Death Knight, and um, it's pretty clear that uh, that. Uh, that's the likely pick. There's no other pick that Kraz would probably make. He had mentioned Druid, but we're, it's a safe pick. Fra Kraz will be a Frost Death Knight, or actually Unholy. All right, so that's good to hear. Uh, next, at number 19, so we're nearly done, guys. Um, the father of, at this point, 50 kids, uh, we have <clears throat> Weakness. Jesus. <laughs> who is a, for, a member of the wolf pack, do we foresee him for the two times that he raids with us that he'll be sticking with the shaman? Or <laughs> Jesus Christ. Do you think that he will be opting out? Keep in mind that the wolf pack are a rowdy bunch and they will kill those who leave them. We can't confirm much from Weakness because we haven't been able to hear from much of him lately. Um, he might make his monthly stop in on raid, but... Once again, it's a very, very difficult choice to make when you have very, very little info. Well said. Anyone else heard from uh, Weakness? Who's Weakness? Tidewalker. Well, I believe the the, uh, the ultimate weakness in this speculation uh, is the fact that um, he is a little on the quiet side. So it's, uh, it's a difficult call. Um, the wolf pack, as you said, is very adamant about retaining its rank, but... Time will tell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, let's see if we can put a lock on our next uh, member, who's Luminok, our uh, balanced druid. Um, I don't foresee changes with this guy. Um, he's been playing it since we've been, like over the last few weeks on in our raids. Do you guys foresee uh, Luminok kind of veering off from that and picking another spec or class? We now we now go to Jake, who is very close with Lumak himself. Jake, thank you for joining the set. How are you this evening? He's playing Boomkin. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and uh, number twenty-one, we have Legolas the Hunter. I mean, the name kind of says it all. Do we foresee him changing from Hunter? I mean, at that point, I think a name changes in order. Uh, but what do you guys think? We actually had scouts over at the uh, University of Michigan uh, to confirm uh, he's ordered um, a ton of ammunition and is preparing to uh, barrage the entire Emerald Nightmare and Nighthold. He got about two million rounds of ammunition. Uh, it's Hunter uh, slam dunk pick. It's definitely hunting season, I would say. And, and just the heart... <laughs> And just to harp on that, our sources are uh, confirming that in all likelihood it will be a marksman hunter. Good, good. 
All right. Well, um, bring on the snow because next we have a frozen beefalo or uh, Red Paladin Extraordinaire. I mean, he's been one to keep an eye out because he recently came back and he's been hardcore with the uh, Warlock. Where do you think that uh, Frozen Beefalo will be falling uh, come Tuesday? Well, unfortunately, Beefalo has been having some struggles with a couple of the Warlock specs, but we do fully expect that he'll iron out some of those issues. Uh, but we expect Beefalo to be a Warlock. Uh, Rhett Paladin did not work out well for him, but uh, we're expecting Warlock. So uh, another member of the Andric Passe have Alayan uh, Death Knight Extraordinaire. I've, I mean, as long as I've known him, you've always played Death Knight. Um, Andric, do you foresee any changes with Elaine going in a different class? Damon Hunter. <gasps> well, <laughs> and if that is the case, Elaine would be the third member of Ilden and Friends. Ooh, I don't think going to join your name? stupid team. No. Is that a new, the new name that we no. can quote with the DH? No. There, there are teams being assembled as we speak that will be released um, on the draft day. I can confirm. Ooh. Well, regardless, regardless or not, he will be uh, the uh, third member uh, of uh, the Illidari. Uh, that How much we can confirm. However, I did get sent a uh, message in a bottle from Vileheart saying there is a chance that Shadow Priest is on the table. Ooh. Ouch! Yeah, fuck that guy. He got me killed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know if we can trust him, but we'll see what happens with that. So, another one, another one to keep an eye out for Elaine. Uh, come Tuesday. Um, one of our latest members uh, joining Legends Anonymous, uh, she's been kind of uh, on the roster for about three months, but just recently joined. We have uh, Nova playing Resto Druid is what she's written down. I mean, there's a lot of healers leaving potentially come Tuesday. Do we foresee Nova taking one of those spots? Resto no. Druid. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, we, 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 yeah, we were actually able to procure um, flight information on her Restoration Ju Druid making a transfer from the Blackhand server to the Sargeras server approximately uh, 72 hours ago, so we can confirm that Nova has transferred her Druid to this server, which is a, a key, key piece of information. Well... That's definitely good news. And also, um, sources do say that she is a fan of the green, the green good good. So uh, that is another reason why she's leaning towards the rest of Druid. <laughs> At number 25, <laughs> we have another potential member of the Wolf Pack, uh, Noble. Um, another one that's been getting some death threats. I've been hearing news that... Potentially, he could be going priest, uh, which the wolf pack is has been howling outside his house, from what I hear. But um, what do you guys see? I mean, is do we foresee him changing? And what do you think may come from that? He may be the first member of Legends Anonymous that gets shanked. So keep that in mind. Well, Zell, after our experiences uh, with uh, Hot Bowl 2016, uh, we have gotten close to uh, Noble's representatives, and there is a prevailing thought and a strong possibility that he might, in fact, go Holy Priest and Ooh. join Heal Team 6. Ooh, okay. That's definitely one to keep an eye on. I, I've heard uh, news from sources that he ha has asked for, like, protective... Uh, protection from our guild leaders so we'll see how that uh, that helps him um again shaman's not one to mess with unfortunately so <laughs> let's hope it that he can make it into legion um we... at... sorry go on Andrasti. Uh, as a member of heal team six do you have anything to say i was gonna ask who are you talking about again noble erotes oh e yeah unfortunately white power grows <laughs> <laughs> um, and only three more um, slots left. At 26, we have Gotti, who's been uh, who's written down Mage and Monk, but I've only seen him on his Monk lately. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, he's a new member as well. I'm not too familiar. So 
Where, where do you guys think that he'll fall come Tuesday? Well, Gotti has expressed interest in melee DPS. However, he was informed that as the roster fills up, it would be more uh, beneficial to the team to go range. So he has been uh, spending some time on both a mage and an elemental shaman. So we expect Gotti to be on a rotating basis until roster space opens up, but most likely range DPS. Gotcha. And uh, the next member is um, one that I'm not familiar with, uh, Jabona the Mage. Um, so potentially a new member for LA that we haven't raided with. But um, do we foresee that he'll be playing his mage? Well, let's go to the co-guild leader here, Marcus. Uh, Jabona is actually a friend of uh, Legolos, and uh, he has expressed interest in a mage. However, he did sign up for the draft on his shadow priest so it, so we, we uh we're we're fully expecting mage um that was uh, what was discussed during his uh, interview into the guild however you never know could be mage could be shadow priest um we just don't know some conflicting answers there so we'll keep an eye out on that and the last uh roster number 28 silver reaper death knight um, I mean, he's been kind of MIA for a really long time. Does he still have it? And will he still have it as a death knight? Time will tell. What do you guys think? Well, uh, we actually forgot to update the draft order. Reaper was a late entry um, after the draft order was forged. Um, he is enacting his uh, grandfather clause um, to play a death knight. Um, however, he has stated that uh, he will fill in when necessary and even switch classes if necessary uh, before the raid tier starts. So we'll be monitoring Silver Reaper. Um, he was a late entry into the draft, but uh, we'll get him in there. That's some insider news right wow, there. Wow, breaking news right it. there. Yeah. Well, guys, this has been fantastic. It's been Legends Anonymous um, roster selection for the upcoming expansion, uh, Legion 2016. Uh, from me, Androsti, Andrik, Mormont, Serene. User Goodbye, guys. Channel. Goodbye.